Sup Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for your love and support. Let's get started on your read. Let's see what's going on for the highest good. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Let's see. Let's get an Oracle card first for Taurus. So you have genuine energy popping out here. So I feel like this could be a love offer for many of you. Let's see. I also get fertility in a situation or someone could be pregnant. I'm also picking up on someone could be on you or someone could be in your face or I feel like there could be a, a lot going on in particular. Let's see. So you have the Eight of Wands. So something about communication or I feel like uh, incoming, something about higher intelligence as well. So you could be communicating with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or I feel like there's fertility surrounding a situation that you're using higher intelligence on, or I feel like something is very, very fertile. Um, I also get something about notification here, um, or someone's been put on notice. Let's see. So you have the Six of Cups. So something about a, a connection. This could be a love connection or I feel like there could be victory surrounding a connection in particular. I also get um, something about tethering energy or I feel like memorabilia. I feel like someone's like staring at a wall or someone's like staring at a photo or I feel like someone's missing uh, someone or something. Let's see. More for Taurus. So you have the Fool card. So something about a Fool or... I feel like a, a leap of faith or a, di a direction, excuse me, Taurus, in, I'm sorry, a new direction or a leap of faith in a new direction here with the death card. I also get someone could be confused. I feel like someone's confused mentally. I'm also picking up an energy here. Someone's confused on their brand new beginning. With the Queen of Swords here, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like someone's implementing something in a clever way. Uh, I feel like someone, they just can't get enough with the death card. The fool card, you could be dealing with the bum. You could be dealing with the fool. You could be dealing with someone who's always on the street. So it's giving me an energy here of someone they can't get enough. This could be uh, some type of communication or compulsive energy followed by the person you're dealing with. Let's see. What is this for Taurus? Okay, so you have the queen of wands and the hanged man. You could be dealing with a delayed person. Someone could be delayed. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or I feel like there could be a delay in someone's goals and ambitions is what I'm seeing here. I feel like someone could be uh, old, right? This could be a parental figure. I feel like there's a delay in this person's goals and ambitions, or this could be you, Taurus. Let's see. Six of Swords energy. I feel like you could be moving on uh, in a situation, or you moving on from a situation could be very desirable to someone in particular. Let's see, more for Taurus. So the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is perceived. I feel like conflict is perceived or deception is perceived or I feel like uh, you moving in a new direction is perceived by a group here with the Ten of Cups, Five of uh, Wands, Two of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. I feel like because of some type of deception, I see, I feel like you see or I feel like there's someone moving on, uh, Taurus. That's all I can say. I feel like it's because of some type of conflict or there could be some pettiness surrounding siblings or the fact that someone can't get enough of something or someone. I also get someone could be interested in children. This could be news to you. Let's see. Yeah, the sun card. This could be news to you or something surrounding a Leo energy. With the eight of pentacles, I feel like this is uh, very active. That someone's interested in children or someone, they work on children. Or I feel like someone could um, work in a daycare. That's what I'm picking up on. Three of wands energy. Followed by the ten of swords. I feel like this is something at afar. I also get something about intellect surrounding something going on at afar or there could be revelation about intellect at afar let's see the ace of pentacles energy so something is not a blessing or i feel like there will be no clean slate when it comes to a form of recklessness taurus let's see yeah the five of cups so there could be regrets and loss or i feel like there could be regrets surrounding some type of exchange this could be unexpected let's see 
more for Taurus. What is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? So Taurus, I see something about money being taken away or you could be very discontent or mad. Uh, Taurus, I feel like someone's mad at you or you could be mad at some type of destruction that someone's brought in. Could be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius or I feel like someone's discontent with a form of victory. Could be you or someone else. Yeah, the magician. So you're dealing with the manipulator. You're dealing with someone who lies and causes like worry in other people, other people's lives. Or I feel like you're dealing with a liar, period. You're dealing with someone who likes to see you stress, worry, whatever the case may be. Tower card. You're dealing with someone who has revelation of this. Uh, them liking to see you stress, worry, you know, go through it and suffer. I feel like you're dealing with a sorry ass person. Let's see. You have the Eight of Swords. So something about spell work here. I feel like you're dealing with a person who casts spells. You're dealing with a crazy person, Five of Swords energy. Someone has been contained as well. Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords, I feel like uh, someone's in their head about some type of hate. Or I see self-atonement when it comes to some type of hate. Or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. I feel like you could be fighting with this person. Let's see. Or the Devil card. I see this person causing restriction or... This could be you causing restriction when it comes to this Queen of Swords energy. I also get praiseworthy energy when it comes to your perseverance in a situation. So independence, Taurus. I feel like you could be focused on your independence or someone else. Let's see. Okay, so you have the Three of Cups. So celebrating or <laughs> lots and lots of partying is what I'm seeing here, Taurus. Or I feel like there could be restrictions surrounding uh, partying. I feel like... Uh, it could be very hateful currently, or there could be some type of uh, smear campaign or something about something being smeared. Ew, that's what I'm picking up on. Let's see. I feel like someone could take initiative wipe, ooh, to wipe their ass more. That's what I'm picking up on. What the fuck? Ace of what? I'm literally... <laughs> That's a funny as a random message. I feel like someone could be taking initiative to wipe their ass instead of obsessing or being a fan. Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, I feel like this could be conspiracy or I feel like genuine feeling when it comes to a form of work. Let's see, what is the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. So something about a good lab, Taurus, followed by the Seven of Swords. I feel like a group has deceived or a group is trying to deceive or a group has been deceiving for a long time or something about an Aquarius. I feel like it's quite laughable when it comes to a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Yeah, the Six of Wands <laughs> world card. I feel like uh, someone watches you for a long time or they watch you succeed. It's like a motherfucker sitting there watching you succeed in a situation. Or I feel like this could be you watching someone succeed in a situation, Taurus. This is a really, really awkward message. I'm going to leave it here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box. We all can book a personal reading. And I hope this serves you well. Take care.